good morning students this is 8086 uh, microprose circuit you can find 8086 microprose here this is 8086 microprocessor which has 40 pins on either sides you can find from this point can you see this red point can you see this red point if it is visible uh, pin number 1 starts from here 1 to 20 21 to 40 so 40 pin dual inline package IC where you have pins on either sides uh, to start with uh, we are using 8086 you know 8086 needs 5 volts power supply so we need to have a powerhouse this is the powerhouse which is used to give power to this trainer kit you call this as 8086 trainer kit and as you all know 8086 need 5 volt power supply the supply is coming from this power house you call this as regulated dc power supply house now uh, to this power supply house this is the power cord you can see this this is the power cord uh, there is a three pin power cord here in the one end so take this three pin power cord plug it here at the back Okay, after plugging it at the back, connect this to the power. Okay, after connecting it to the power, you can switch this on. So, there is a switch which connects uh, the power house, uh, power supply to this unit. So, if you make this on, you will get the power. You make it off, it, uh, there will not be any power. So, it acts like a fuse. And to connect this power house to this trainer kit, you can see here there are different levels of power. One is 5 volts, other one is plus 12 volts, other one is minus 12 volts and other one is plus 30 volts. You should remember that 5 volts, that is plus 5 volts is required for 8086. You know 8086 needs 5 volts power supply. So this is called as a connecting wire power connecting wire okay so plug in the power connecting wire at the top so this is your 8086 trainer kit at your leftmost corner you will have the power cord and you can see this i have plugged in the power cord and then the other end you will have two leads you call this as two leads red stands for plus 5 volts this is your ground so take your black one connect it to your ground black one see the color uh, description black is for ground so i have connected the ground similarly i need 5 volts for my microprocessor so take this red one connect it to 5 volts of your microprocessor so ensure that there is no communication there is no shorting between these two units so this is how you need to connect 5 volts to your microprocessor kit now microprocessor kit got the power supply do we have any monitor here to type your uh, monitor here to see the results no since we don't have the monitor and do we have any keyboard here to type the program no since we don't have the monitor nor the keyboard to type the program we are going to use our systems monitor and systems keyboard so first you need to connect this 8086 to your system to your computer so to connect your 8086 to your computer first you need to use a usb cable this is the usb cable which you are going to use to connect your computer to your um, microprocessor kit so how are you going to connect it there are two leads one is this is your usb connector to your 8086 kit you can see this this is your usb connector to your 8086 so you can just take this turn here one end is to the power supply other end is to your computer so Take this and connect it to the USB port of your computer. If we connect it, we will establish connection between your system, that is your computer, to kit, 
kit to your power supply okay thank you Good morning students let us see the connections uh, first uh, in the last video we have seen how to connect uh, dc power supply to trainer kit and from trainer kit to the computer now i'm going to tell you how we will run a program with this so take the other end of the power cord connect it to the power supply after connecting it to the power supply switch the supply on and switch on this fuse when you switch on this fuse you will get a indicator with a red led on now connect this power wire to your microprocessor trainer kit as we have seen in the last video we need to connect at the leftmost side first let me switch off this connect this and then i will switch on this fuse when i switched on this fuse you can see a red led glowing indicating there is a power that is connected to this trainer kit now the trainer kit is connected now i need to connect this trainer kit to my computer to connect the trainer kit to the computer or 8086 to the computer i have to use a usb cable as i said in the last video this is a us cable usb cable that i'm going to use one end of the usb cable i'm going to plug in at the rightmost corner this is the port to which i have connected it it is at the rightmost corner and then the other end i am going to connect it to the cpu's usb port so i am going to connect it to the cpu's usb port so i have connected my trainer kit to the computer through this usb port after connecting this first step what we need to do is we need to right click on this my computer you can see this you need to right click on this my computer and go to manage in manage you have to go to device manager and double click now go to a field called ports p o r t s ports now you check to which port 8086 is connected through which port of usb 8086 trainer kit is connected you can see this r8086 trainer kit is connected to the computer through com9 com9 through the communication port 9 now note down the communication port com9 this is the first step now after completing this let me start uh, with this explanation as you all know we are going to connect 8086 and uh, you know 8086 has 20 address lines and 16 data lines okay since it has 20 address lines you know uh, if i want to access memory address lines are very important since you have 20 address lines 2 to the power of 20 will tell what is the range of memory that 8086 can access if i have 20 address lines 2 to the power of 20 so 10 lakhs 48575 unique memory locations i can access since it is 10 lakhs 48575 in short i will say 1 megabyte 1 2 3 4 5 6 so it is 1 megabyte so i know there are 20 wires 20 address lines every wire will carry a bit since there are 20 wires the 20 wires if it carries all zeros can you see all the 20 wires are carrying zeros 1 4 8 12 16 and 20 all 20 wires are carrying all zeros all 20 wires this is the first location if all 20 wires are carrying all zeros it is memory location 0 what is the second memory location 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 Zero 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 zero, zero 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 zero, and zero 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 one. So one wire is one. Rest is all zeros. So it is memory location one. 
so how many memory location you can access unique locations you can access all zeros to all ones in hexadecimal four zeros four binary bits will form single hexadecimal zero so i have 20 zeros which is nothing but zero 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 so i will say what is the range of memory range of memory is 25 zeros in hexa to 5 f's in hexa how i got this 5 f's what is the maximum location i can access all this 20 wires will become all ones so there, there are 20 ones four ones will form single f so 20 ones will form f f f f and f so what is the range of memory that 8086 can access it can access from five zeros to five f's or in binary i can say 20 zeros to 20 ones how many locations 1 lakh uh, sorry 10 lakh 48576 locations in each location you should understand it is byte addressable byte organized it means in each memory location it can store only 8 bits more than 8 bits it goes to the next memory location so you know 8086 can access it from 5 zeros to 5 f's in each location at max i can store only how many bits 8 bits beyond 8 bits i need to go to the next memory location this is the range of memory that 8086 can access so in our lab we are going to use we are going to store all the program from location a to 0 0 0 can you see the ranges from 5 zeros to 5 years but in the lab we will start typing the program from which memory location a Two zero zero zero. So this is for you to understand what is the memory location where you are going to type the program. You are going to type the program from hexadecimal A two zero zero zero, which is what is uh, equivalent in binary. A is one zero one zero. Two is zero zero one zero. Zero zero zero. So I have given all this. So this twenty address lines is carrying this address. Okay, students. Now, let us get into the program now. How to start typing the program? Before typing the program, first you need to understand to which port your 8086 microprocessor is connected to your computer. You know it is connected to COM6 port. Now, what you need to... That we have seen... Sorry, COM9 port. Can you see here? USB serial port is connected. USB serial port is connected to COM9. So, you know, uh, the trainer kit is connected to through COM9. Now, close it. Now, what you are going to do is, you are going to type the program. To type the program, step 1, go to start. Step 2, go to all programs. In all programs, there is a terminal called ESA terminal. In ESA terminal, there is something called term 86 E window. When you click this term 86 E window, you will get this window popped. Okay. Now you are going to type your program. To type your program, as you all know, what is the starting address to type the program? As I said, go to this command. In this command, you need to type. What is the location where you are going to start the program? I said, you have to start, store the program from A. 2000 location so your program must be stored in this location what is the program i'm going to store in this location is i'm going to do a small program let me write a program for you i'm going to do addition so what is my first step move mov stands for move my data 0001 data to register bx move 0002 to register ax move sorry now what i am going to do i am going to add register ax and register bx what happens bx will be added with ax result will be stored in ax Okay, now I want to see the result in CX. So I will say move the result which is in AX 
to which register cx and i will say int 03 what is int 03 is it's a type of interrupt to halt the program so i will end with int 03 this is the program that i'm going to type in which location i'm going to type in the location a 2000 so go to the system and type a 2000 and give a enter what is my first code students my first code is move bx0001 so move bx0001 enter what is my second code move ax0002 enter what is my third code add ax comma bx now what is my fourth uh, instruction? I want the result which is in AX to CX. So, I will say move the result which is in AX to a register CX. After that, I am going to stop the program and come out. So, I will say interrupt 03. It is a software interrupt which holds the program and comes out of the loop. So, I have typed my program and I have done with my program. Now, what I need to do? I need to the program. You need to press reset in that kit. I have typed the program interrupt 03. After typing the program, you need to press this reset to save the program. If you press reset, immediately you will get this ESA86 monitor. Now, whatever the program I have typed, I have saved it. After saving, only then you can execute it. So, go to go, give a enter and tell the location where you need to go. What is the starting address where you have typed the program? A. 2000 0, 0, 0, and give a end. So the program got executed and you can see the result here. So what is that you can see here before seeing that you can see here. So how many general purpose registers you have AX, BX, CX, DX. Now what did I do in the program move BX0001. So BX is 0001. Move AX0002. Now AX is 0002. When I execute this instruction, A add AX, BX, what happens? BX will be added with AX. Result will store in AX. So what is 0001 plus 0002? Which is nothing but 0003. So that is stored in which register? AX. Now AX will change to 0003. What is the next instruction? Move that AX. To CX. So, what is there in AX? 0003 will move to CX which is 0003. This result will be displayed in the monitor. Okay. Apart from this, what else will be displayed is what is the current value of source? What are the other registers? SI, source index register, destination index register, base pointer, stack pointer. Four segment registers will be displayed. Extra segment, stack segment, code segment, data segment. A flag would be displayed. A instruction pointer would be displayed. All these registers will be displayed in the result. Now let us see in the monitor. Now can you see this? AX value is 0003. BX is 0001. CX is 0003. This is DX. These are all pointer registers. This is index register. This is segment register. This is instruction pointer and this is the plug. So this is how you get the result. Thank you.